For 18 years, Sharon Doro has lived with the pain of rheumatoid arthritis. She's already had one hip replacement and was facing another one. I really got to the point where I would have to ration what I did. I, 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 I would plan pretty carefully. If I'm going to do this, <clears throat> I can go visit this friend, but we can't go to the mall together, but we can go eat together because that's a sit-down activity. I can do that real well. With Sharon's first surgery, she was given a metal to plastic prosthesis in her left hip. Over time, some of the plastic particles broke off, requiring more surgery. When Sharon learned that she would need her right hip replaced, orthopedic surgeon Dr. John Cuckler at the University of Alabama at Birmingham suggested a metal-on-metal -metal prosthesis. The metal-metal hip will wear at a far slower rate than the metal plastic hip, which is our traditional hip design. The new technology uses a metal ball with a metal socket. These are very highly polished, very, very close tolerances. This design wears one one hundredth the rate of the metal against plastic design. Research shows the longevity of the metal implant is 20 to 30 years, compared to 10 to 12 years for a plastic component. Dr. Cuckler says the metal on metal is a better choice for a younger, more active person. The longer you live and the more active you are, the more likely you are to wear out the plastic portion of a hip replacement. After surgery, Sharon used crutches for six weeks. Now, four months later, she's back to doing things she enjoys, and most importantly, she's pain-free. Well, even with the problem I had with my first uh, prosthesis, I still think it's overall, has, it's been a life-changing experience for me. For UAB Broadcast News, this is Andrea Reber reporting.